The Indonesian island of Bali has entered its worst phase of the pandemic yet, amid an alarming surge in the Delta variant. The outbreak prompting the government to delay the reopening of the island to international visitors, sparking fears the crippling economic crisis could deepen. The toll of the pandemic in Bali laid bare on these empty streets. Shop fronts boarded up, beaches deserted. The throngs of tourists long gone, and so too, the jobs. March last year was a nightmare <laughs> because I, I lost my job. Bali have to close a lot of restaurants, hotels. Tourism has for decades powered Bali's prosperity, accounting for roughly 60% of the island's GDP. Local NGOs say without it, there are few ways to earn a decent living, and so thousands are going hungry. Jobs are gone and salaries are gone and therefore uh, there is no food. Over the past year, charity Scholars of Sustenance has distributed roughly 1.5 million meals. The island had hoped to reopen to international tourists in July, but then came Delta, the highly infectious variant sweeping across Indonesia at a devastating pace. Bali, no exception. Sadly, right now it is getting worse. Uh, with the lockdown being extended, uh, the, the future arrivals of tourists is uh, not looking very promising. More than 100,000 Balinese have lost their jobs since the pandemic began. But the actual number is believed to be much higher, with tourism also a key source of income in remote villages. They work as labourers who help fix gardens, who help build villas. Their incomes are now a third of what they were before and before they were on the poverty line. This family of seven now rely on the little money they make through clove harvesting and basket weaving. Australian Margaret Barry runs the Bali Children Foundation, which since 2002 has helped thousands of children complete school and find employment. But over the past 17 months, the charity has had to shift its focus from education to feeding families. The impact of this long term is terrifying because having worked for 19 years to get children educated so they can go out and get good jobs, we are now back with a situation of a new generation of children who are potentially going to grow up without being able to read and write properly. Because of the pandemic, children in grades one and two in Bali have never been to school. Instead, they've been learning from home. Ms Barry says many families are without access to the internet and rarely can parents help because they are themselves illiterate. She says it's a lost generation in the making. Abby O'Brien, SBS World News.